Hello. This is a video about how and why you should uh, use the flatten tool. Uh, if I have a document that I'm working on here in PDF Docs and I want to add a signature uh, to it, so for example, if I want to just sign the bottom of this page, I could go to the uh, edit ribbon, so review ribbon, and click on stamps and take a signature stamp that I have here. And I can pop this in wherever I need to. So, for example, let's put it here as a signature. Now, the way PDFs are created, these are editable uh, objects and layers. So, I can still pick this up and select it and move it around. And if I'm putting a signature on a document like in this way, I perhaps don't want to allow somebody to be able to do that once I've put it on there. So what I can use is the flatten tool and that will just take all of the different layers, whether they're text layers, image layers, uh, annotation layers, and just uh, flatten them into one single layer so that they still remain within the PDF but they are not selectable or deletable. So let's see what that looks like. So I've got my signature there. We can see there I can select it, I can move it, I can resize it. But if I go to the edit ribbon and then click on the flatten tool, we'll get a warning just saying we're gonna flatten all of this. So annotations and form fields uh, and it can't be undone uh, afterwards. So the idea here is that I flatten all of this information into one layer and then it is protected uh, I can be safe that nobody else is going to be able to take my signature and remove it from the document. So I flatten this now. I can, as you can see, I can no longer select that signature. So this is very good for form filling when you want to make sure that comments stay on a page uh, for review, signatures, stamps, anything like that to make sure that they are embedded into the document. So that's a, a really good use of the flatten tool. I uh, hope that was useful. Thank you.